so remember when this new minimum pay model was first uh not introduced but was first proposed and i was mentioning that i was against it this happened like months ago i believe it was in like the summer or something and a majority of people were actually against me they were saying that they wanted to be implemented and the reason i didn't want it to be implemented was because i knew it wasn't just gonna be passed without any repercussions when one thing is given something is usually taken away that's just simple politics the reason i'm mentioning this is because here in new york city starting on january 1st 2024 they are introducing uber eats planner so what this planner is it's essentially a schedule system for people on uber eats and as you are aware uber eats was the what the only of the three uh, main food apps that allowed you to go online anytime you want gave you the true flexibility of being a 1099 worker and now thanks to this bill they're pushing back and now we will have that flexibility removed if this turns out to be a similar schedule to doordash and grubhub i'm not even gonna lie to y'all bro i'm probably not gonna do deliveries full-time anymore i'm probably just gonna go get a regular job because if you take away the flexibility from this which is pretty much one of the main reasons i do this job if you take away the flexibility and add several restrictions onto what we're doing you might as well just get a regular job at that point point. and let me bring up this comment real quick from the endurance they say he said they bring down the high achievers to uplift the low achievers what a shame and that's exactly what happened because if you look at this face value it did look like for the first week that i worked with this new pay structure in, in in place it does appear that i made more than i usually do but when you take because of the adjustment pay but when you take into account that ever since this adjustment pay system has been introduced on this new uh, pay model it has been significantly slower than it has been on regular days and this is happening in one of the busiest times of the year actually so it seems as if i'm making more with under the new model but in reality i'm making the same even with the adjustments so let's just like honestly this only helps people who weren't who weren't really making much in fact one of my friend he just came back he's he's telling me he's, he's slow too and we are both multi-efforts we are never slow so yeah this it, it just goes down from here bro i'm telling you bro those deliveristas man they really should have just stopped when we got full tip transparency but yeah we online um i was working early i did work lunch shift i'm at like 64 44 on uber eats i haven't been able to use grubhub they haven't let me sign online in like a week not even during busy times all right so we got a 10 dollar order going to battery park and if you don't know well i'm just gonna tell you probably going to be my last time mentioning this our pay model changed check one of my previous videos i think it was like two videos ago we got a new minimum minimum pay structure thingy majiggy so we pretty much get paid more to take all the orders my guy what the fuck uh, so yeah oh crew rides also crew rides said it he <laughs> He said according to the with the planner um it's basically grubhub 2.0 and that is the perfect way to put it it literally is grubhub 2.0 because on grubhub they they have the same thing now where it's like you can't talk on, online all the time only when it's busy and they're the ones who determines if it's busy or not like take for instance it was raining all day on sunday but according to grubhub it wasn't busy enough for me to go online even though it was pouring rain like if it wasn't busy then then it never will be busy ever again it's looking like uh indeed.com is calling my name guys i know we get paid for wait time now but like a pretty much 20 minute wait is absolutely ludicrous but we got the order let's go it's like uh how long it says 18 minutes it's not gonna be 18 minutes gonna be like 12. that order did not take 20 minutes to deliver bro we got a quick five dollar run from chipotle 
We already picked it up. It's a minute away, guys. Oh yeah, I got a new light on my bike. Hold on, let me show you. It is the Suron light. I had the same one on the Arrow that I had before this. So one thing that's interesting about the, the light on this bike now, when it was on the Arrow, it was super bright. It was a high beam. The first one was a high beam, like the first mode. Hold on, like that. That used to be a high beam. But on this, it's a really lower. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, it's still bright. But the only issue is it doesn't spread far across like it did on the arrow as well. Because it's still bright. It's still considered a high beam. On the Suron, it's not spread as wide as it was on the Arrow. Because on the Arrow, it covered up like an entire street. And that's why I really liked it. But it is what it is. I don't know, I might figure that out later. Maybe it has something to do with different voltages or something. I don't know. <laughs> Look how bulky my shit looks. My coat. What? Bro, so this building is a maze. It's a whole maze. Wait, so with this new model, in effect, the only orders that I'm gonna decline is to places I don't wanna go. Like for instance, I didn't get a screenshot of it, but it was a double. And one of the pickups was inside of a mall. Now I know where the store is because I used to work in the World Trade Center. So I already know where the store is because I used to go to that mall to eat, but I'm not about to go all the way in there, bro. I hate going to malls. It's just a bunch of people slowly walking in large groups. It's dreadful. So I just got a really good comment from someone called Be Great. They said, I think people tend to forget that this is a side gig and bro, they are so right. That's why, like, when they were talking about, oh, the apps pay low. Like, yeah, they do pay low. But at the same time, this was always meant to be extra money. Like, they, the apps advertise it as extra money. They don't advertise it as, hey, come do this full time. No, it's always uh, been advertised as, like, a side job, a side gig. They usually show people coming, like, on the adverts, they usually show people doing this after after work like their main job they usually show people doing this after college like after they get out of class just because we chose to make it a um a full-time job doesn't mean that's what it was intended for like the main difference between my selection of orders between when i was part-time and full-time bro when i was part-time pretty much every order was worth it to me obviously i'll try to get a big or big orders if i could but honestly back then when i was part-time bro to me a five dollar order was winning <laughs> i was winning when i got a five dollar order i'm like five bucks hell yeah because think about it i used to go to work at my job i used to typically make like 160 a day and then i used to come out and do this afterward to make like an extra hundred bucks or something like extra hundred to 150 depending on how the days so to me back then like even like the lower orders like they were extremely worth it because it's just extra money that i was making <laughs> well, like, when you're full-time most people most people minimum are probably like eight bucks now or, or they're trying to get like 20 dollar bangers like crew rides like nobody want to see a low offer when they're full-time you know i'm still not used to accepting pretty much everything that we get because I'm looking at this order right here, this double 11. I'm like, why the hell are they sending me this? Then I'm like, oh, wait. Wait, actually, hold on. One of these is an alcohol order. Oh my, yo, 10 bottles of vodka. Oh my God. I think they're the small ones. Though. I think they're nips. But even though, even still. My, but yeah, man, I, I got to keep reminding myself. A lot of times I'm about to like decline an order. I'm like, hell no. Then I'm like, oh, wait. 
That's a hell yes, actually. <laughs> we racking up trip time. Right, first order, three minutes away. It's all the alcohol. And like I said, they were all nips. If you don't know what a nip is, it's the little tiny bottles of alcohol that they have by like the, that they have by the uh, regist registers usually. They're basically like a shot. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Okay, here we go, here we go. That's me, that's me. That's me, that's 100% me. You saw he was about to hit a right, he just stopped. And then that guy on my left was about to turn into me. <laughs> you gotta watch out for these things all the time, man. A police officer just, just hit his sirens at me because I went around him. <laughs> so he was hitting a turn, he couldn't, like he, there was a car in front of him, so he couldn't complete his turn. So I just stopped and I would just went around him. <laughs> he was like, woo, woo. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't give a fuck. All right, so it should be, yep, right here, right here. Ooh, Magura brakes are so sexy, bro. I stopped from 30 in like a two seconds. I'm actually going to lift my bike up here. Because the street's so narrow, I don't want to be that dickhead taking up all the space with my bike. The sidewalk is narrow, the street is narrow, so I'm going to put my shit all the way in the corner. Like a good little delivery boy. Hi. Oh, uh, do you have ID? Go live to y'all guys. She looked like a child. <laughs> but it was her on the ID. Everything checked out. Don't care. We got a nice little double going on. And at the same time, I helped some random delivery guy. He couldn't find 45 Wall Street. I'm not going to lie though. The GPS over here is always really screwy. So it's like, I understand people getting lost over here. Because they do that intentionally because of the towers. They intentionally screw up the GPS. But it doesn't really make sense because, you know, if somebody wanted to do what they did back in the early 2000s, I can't say it or I get nuked off of YouTube. If they want to do that again, you don't need the GPS. You could just look it's literally the tallest building here so it makes no sense screwing with the gps i'm leaving my bike right here bro i'm a motorcycle today thank you but let's go pick up this other order it's taking me nice to k town we're gonna keep getting orders from over there and keep the little street going there's a there's a arrow right behind me anytime there's a two-wheeler they always pull up right behind me or next to me and i don't know why because when i'm riding my bike I avoid them like the plague. If they're on the right, I go all the way to the left. I don't like riding next to them. We just scooped up both orders. It took me forever to find this Westville, bro. I was just talking about the GPS being screwy and that thing was taking me in circles and circles and circles. Oh my Lord. Who made these roads, bro? All right, so this is one of those famous leaving elevator orders. Oh yeah, stupid GoPro didn't want to turn on because I took my server on the highway, bro. Highway, freeway, expressway, my way, I don't know, driveway. Order delivered. Just got that order dropped off, pulled up, got another order across the street. Patilla, Patilla, hold on, see. Yeah, Patiala. That single order just turned into a double. About to go get the second pickup. New Wanjo, Koreatown. All right, that double order is finished, and so am I, bros. I'm about to be out of here. It's 9:30. I'm at 122, $122.77. I don't think I got a tip. If I did, I'ma put them at the end. If I didn't, you ain't gonna see nothing. And yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the uh, cash tip I got last video. I don't know if we got that, but I said I was out of here and so I'm gonna see y'all next time.